Hey everybody, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Dominic and I'm going to show you how to make a basic lotion. Hey everybody, uh, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be back. It's been three years since I've done the last video, which is crazy. Uh, I've heard that everyone wants an actual recipe for a basic lotion, so that's what we're going to do today. I've split it up into my water phase and my melt phase, and actually I'm going to take these two, which are my preservatives, and I'll leave those off as a final phase during the cool down. So what I've got here is an immersion blender. Ours is nice and industrial because we use it eight hours a day. And I've got a thermometer or two, just so I can measure the temperatures of the oil phase and the water phase as we heat them up. So I'm gonna clear all this out and I'm gonna start melting the, the oil phase and heating the water phase. All right, so I'm gonna start by combining my grape, sorry, grapeseed oil, uh, olive oil, my emulsifying wax, and my steric acid. And this recipe will be posted down below by pressing the more button, I believe. The guy behind the camera keeps nodding, so I guess I'm right. And now, I'm gonna toss my thermometer in there and stir it up and just let it go. Because this is gonna take a minute. So now, I've got my water phase and my emulsion blender. So now I'm gonna take my water phase and add my pomegranate juice powder to it and my emulsion blender and start off slowly mixing it up until it's fully hydrated. And I'm gonna say that's pretty good right there. Now I could go ahead and add my glycerin, but I'm going to disperse my xanthan in my glycerin before I add them. So we're gonna pull back this melt phase and we're gonna plop this on here too. You'll see I'm leaving my emulsion blender head in there because if I pour a hot oil phase on cold metal, it's gonna cool down real quick and it's gonna get cheap, congeal and we're just gonna have a mess. And we'll be back when it's melted. Right, so after the uh, movie magic happened, we have now have a 150 degree melt phase, which I'm gonna take off. And if you're doing this at home, you obviously wanna record your temperatures just for posterity so you can recreate what you're doing. This guy is sitting at 108, so that is not hot enough. You're gonna want your oil phase and your water phase to at least be close to 20 degrees apart. So you can say if I've got a 150 degree melt phase, I'll at least want 130 degree water phase. So we're going to have to cut back to this when it has warmed up all the way. All right, and we are back again, and my water phase is now nice and heated to 130.2. And now we're gonna get this stuff out of the way. And I am going to Disperse the glycerin. I'm going to disperse our xanthan gum into our vegetable glycerin just so it doesn't fly all over the place when I try and pour it in there. And that's good. We will get that out of the way. Put this guy back up. It has a million threads. Glycerin, xanthan 
machine gun mixture. to add the final phase and I took the temp and it has already dropped down to 124 and it's going to continue dropping as I mix it. Our final phase includes phenoxyethanol and tetrasodium glutamate diacetate which is the chelator. So let's toss these in there. favorite part because I can do it with a small amount like this because I'm only making a pound is I brought along a cold water bath. Now obviously this isn't going to work if you were trying to do a cold water bath on a five gallon pail but in this case it'll drop the tank real quick. So we're going to let this cool off for a little bit and we will be back in a few. All right. And through the magic of editing, we're back. This is cooled down nice and cool and you can see it's nice and thick. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you're worried about an emulsion not thickening, if you have a stainless steel surface or any cool surface, while you're mixing it in that first emulsion stage, you can take some out and put it on that cold surface and it will thicken pretty quickly because it cools down very quick. And since this is so basic, you can add any essential oils you really want to to it and any sort of actives you like to add to it. You can swap out the oil. Uh, you can try different preservatives. When you try different preservatives though, you need to make sure you know how much they need to go in at. and also, you need to pay attention to if you start adding more essential oils or adding more additives that you look at the percentage that the preservative is in at because you are dropping it every time you add other stuff to it. So other than that, this is a fun little emulsion that is uh, easy for beginners and can go a long way for people who have made these a million times. Thanks for joining us. Again, I'd like to say that I do enjoy doing these videos, and if you have any comments or suggestions for other videos you'd like to see me in, or at least my hands, and hear my voice, uh, let me know. Thanks.